Hey everyone, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I'm here to show you a very simple concept. I get a lot of questions about layers. And one of the things that I think um, sometimes it seems confusing to people, but then once explained, it's very obvious, is the layers panel and how that works. So if you look on the right side of my screen, I have a layers panel and you'll see that I have one, two and three. These are the different layers. These are text layers. Doesn't matter if it's a text layer or if it's a, um, a picture or if it's a, another, just another colorful layer. It really doesn't matter what kind of layer it is, as long as it is a layer in your layers panel. So I have one, two, three, and then background. They are all different layers. So I want to illustrate to you what that means and how that corresponds with the layers in your design. So actually I'm gonna unlock the background. So the background layer here is white. I'm just gonna click it off. You'll see now it's transparent, it's back to white. You could see here that the top layer says number one. The layers work as if you were layering, let's say pieces of paper on top of each other. And if you were to visualize a table with pieces of paper, one on top of the next, the piece of paper that would be on the very top would be the layer that's on the top of the layers panel. So it, right here, the layer that is on top for me is one, is layer number one, which corresponds with my number one, as you can see here. This layer, you can see in, the, in this uh, photo, is above the number two. In the layers panel, the number two here is below the number one. So one is on top, like the top piece of paper. And if you were to then lift off the top piece of paper, what's below it is the number two. And you can see that illustrated perfectly over here. And under the two is three. I have that. You can see that they are layered right on top of each other and it corresponds with the layers panel. And then at the very bottom, you have this white layer zero, which is the background layer. So let me show you what happens if I take my three, because it is under the layer that is number two in my layers panel, you will never be able to cover the two while it is still in this order in the layers panel. So three is on the bottom, two can cover three, but three cannot cover two because two is the next layer above and one is on top. But what if let's say you wanted the three to cover the one and the two? Well, all you need to do is go to your layers panel, highlight that layer and drag it up. So I just dragged it. So now the three is above the two and you can see that three is now covering two, but it is still not covering one because it is not on the very top of the image. So now if I took my number three and I dragged it above my number one in the layers panel, three is now covering everything. I can make the three even larger, it really covers everything because it is the top layer in my layers panel. The layer that it is covering first is the one and then the two. If I took my two and dragged it up above my one, well, now you see two can cover one. And one is now the second to the bottom layer. And of course, this white layer is the very bottom. Well, if I took my white layer and I dragged it to the top, now I've covered everything with a complete white layer. You can't even see the three, two, and one because they are under the white layer now. If I just click off using this little eyeball, if I click off this layer, well, I don't have a background anymore. It's just transparent, but I do have my numbers. Three is still covering two, two is still covering one. And that's how the layer order works in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.